And now it's time for Story Time with Jedi. Gather round, children. It's time for another story. But Mr. Jedi, your stories are fucking terrible. Shut up, little shit. Sit the fuck down before I beat the shit out of you. <laughs> well, okay then. Let's begin. Today we're going to read Billy the Elo Head. This is Billy. Billy is a good boy. Billy likes sports. He plays on the football team. He is the quarterback. Billy has a girlfriend. Her name is Sally Mae. She has a butter face, but has nice boobage. Billy likes video games. He loves Overwatch. It consumes Billy. He plays every day. He plays with friends. It is a good time. Bastion is silly. Billy is happy. Quick Play is a blast. He plays a guy named Reaper. He loses every game. Billy doesn't care. His friends play the demon Hellspawn bitch, May. The enemy team calls him faggot. Billy is confused and sad. Sally Mae brings Billy to Tino's Pizza Rolls and Monster Energy Drinks. Billy doesn't even notice Sally Mae's new skimpy negligee she purchased from the Hustler store. Sally Mae now has crippling depression. Billy has a new obsession. He found competitive Overwatch. Fuck off, he yells at Sally Mae. You're nagging me. Billy began to change. He gained 25 pounds in one week. His face had become greasy and sweaty. He is always angry now. His mommy and daddy think he's an asshole. Something is wrong with Billy. Billy is on new medication. He doesn't sleep well anymore. He dreams of going professional and playing with the biggest nerds in the world. Billy is worried. He is only a diamond level Overwatch player. Billy becomes obsessed with Elo. Billy wants to be like his two Overwatch heroes. Their names are Omicronian and Omega Fishsticks. They are grandmasters. They smell bad. Billy is now a lunatic. He yells a lot. Get off fair, you stupid autistic fuck. You're bad, Billy screams at his teammate. Billy dies eight times and blames the loss on the guy playing Lucio. Billy's elo drops another 50 points. These fucking scrubs, mom. I can't deal. I'm out of here. Billy was now a full-blown elo head. He searched the streets to find what he couldn't obtain through the game. Billy did bad things to some weird people under a bridge. They only had heroin. This made Billy cry. After a quick trip to the ER to obtain some penicillin, Billy met a new friend. Billy met the edgelord Reaper. Reaper was way over dramatic. What are you looking at? Asked Reaper in a douchey emo voice. As it turned out, Reaper was not only a dickless weirdo played by pubescent turds, he was also an elo dealer. Billy was really excited. In exchange for a reach around behind the Wendy's, Reaper gave Billy 500 elo. Billy was sore, but he was happy. Billy injected all the elo the nice reaper man gave him. He didn't feel so good. Billy overdosed. He was now a master overwatch player, but he also proved himself and developed hepatitis C. Billy went to a rehab center. The doctors had little hope. Billy was the worst elo fiend they had ever encountered. Billy's only hope was a heavy dosage of doll and overhyped video games. Luckily for Billy, there were hundreds. Kill me, Billy said. Not a chance, the doctor told him. Here, play some division, Billy. No, Billy cried. After three months of playing Minecraft, Billy no longer cared about Overwatch or ELO. He lost 450 pounds and saw his penis for the first time in a year. Billy was super excited. Beast I mean Winston from Overwatch came to visit Billy in the rehab center. As it turns out, Winston was an ELO dealer. Oh no! Apparently, Blizzard found out that Billy wasn't feeding them money anymore, so they sent their top enforcer to fix the problem. They found Billy behind an Arby's dumpster. The story goes, he played competitive Overwatch for 18 weeks straight. He was two points shy of making it to Grandmaster. Billy tried too fucking hard. Don't be Billy! The end. So what'd you think, kids? Was that a totally awesome story or what? No, that was the worst fucking story I've ever heard! You're a piece of shit, Jedi Chainsaw! Well, thank you, kids. Well, it looks like my work here is done. Till next time, assholes!